Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. And we begin with an extraordinary show of solidarity on the tracks of Talladega. Bubba Wallace is the racing circuit's only black full-time driver and on Monday had found a symbol of hate in his car's stall at the track. Bubba's fellow competitors were outraged and at yesterday's Geico 500 made sure the world knew it. Workers painted I Stand With Bubba on the infield grass and all 39 drivers and their pit crews surrounded Mr. Wallace's number 43 Chevrolet and pushed it to the starting line at the front of the field. In another pointed show of support, Richard Petty, the 82-year-old Hall of Fame driver known as The King, stood by his side for the national anthem. NASCAR is vowing to find and ban whomever was responsible. For the first time in more than 30 years, NASA is supporting the search for alien civilizations outside of our solar system. Specifically, scientists are getting grants to look for techno-signatures of other life forms, meaning signs of technological activity on another planet, including solar panels, pollutants, or swarms of satellites. Why the interest now? The search for extraterrestrial intelligence has always faced the challenge of where to look in our vast universe. But in the last five years, researchers have made great progress identifying planets in habitable zones that also have some form of water. As one scientist says, now that we know where to look, the game has changed. Break out your piggy banks. The latest shortage due to the pandemic seems to be pocket change, according to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. Since March, many consumers have been using online shopping, and businesses that are open are encouraging people to use credit cards or checks to avoid touching actual money. Plus, mints that manufacture coins stopped operating to keep employees safe. Some banks said last week they were at risk of running out of coins. So to avoid that problem, the Federal Reserve will make sure they evenly distribute coins across the country, encourage institutions to only order the amount they need, and get mints to step up production. But officials do see this shortage as temporary, because as the economy opens up, and as shoppers get more confident about what they touch, we'll probably see more purses opening up and coins getting back in circulation. Some serious coin is being offered to kids to help spread the love. A U.S.-based charitable foundation wants to inspire the next generation of humanitarians by giving teenagers a check for $1,000. But the money isn't for the kids to keep. It's for them to give away to a friend, a loved one, a neighbor, or a role model. The Ving Project, named for the second syllable in giving, was founded by Liz Lefkowski, the wife of Groupon's co-founder. To receive money from the foundation, anyone between the ages of 14 and 18 can submit a two-minute video explaining why they want to give money to their nominee. And the project has been busy. In April alone, it gave away more than $250,000 to teens. Interested? Head on over to vingproject.org. It's pretty rare when the two political parties in Washington, D.C. agree on something, but the U.S. Senate had a rare moment of bipartisanship last week when the Great American Outdoors Act was passed by a vote of 73 to 25. The act creates a fund to pay for a big backlog of maintenance at national parks, including the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, and the Statue of Liberty. The work that has been on hold for years will repair roads, bridges, restrooms, campgrounds, and visitor centers. Money for the fixes will come from energy production on public lands, including oil and gas drilling. If passed by the U.S. House of Representatives, the new law would bring in about $900 million a year to the Conservation Fund. That's it for Kid News. A quick reminder that we welcome all tax-deductible donations to produce this podcast, and they can be easily made on our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, the Kid News Quiz. How did fellow drivers show support for racer Bubba Wallace? They surrounded his car and escorted him to the starting line. What will scientists be using to look for signs of life in outer space?
techno-signatures or signs of high-tech activity on another planet. What is the latest shortage caused by the pandemic, according to the U.S. Federal Reserve? Coins, which are out of circulation because shop owners and customers don't want to touch them. What is the name of the act that got bipartisan support in the U.S. Senate? The Great American Outdoors Act. In One for the Road, a 13th century village that's been underwater for more than 25 years could soon see the light of day. Fabrique de Caragine in the Tuscany region of Italy was flooded back in 1946 to build a hydroelectric dam and a lake. The abandoned village, with its stone houses, bridge, cemetery, and church, has not been seen since 1994, when the dam was emptied for maintenance. But there's a new effort to permanently drain the water and bring the ancient village back as a tourist attraction to help revive the local economy. Before we go, our Kid News birthday shout-outs today go to Mario in Powell, Ohio, and Sean in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Thanks for listening. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.